Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk to you about Socrative.com and show you how I use this for assessment and show you how we can take the results and export them into some feedback and some levels or flight paths. So what we need to do is create an account and log in. So once you've created an account by clicking get account, fill in all your details and then go to teacher login and that will log you in as uh, in your new account and you'll see there are several different options. So we've got the launch panel which gives us quizzes, space race, exit tickets, things like that. If we go to quizzes, this is where you'll add, create or import a quiz. So for my teachers, I send out um, the assessments that I'd like them to use and they can simply go add quiz and import and it asks them to put the Socrative number in and they can import the quiz and then add or amend to it as they see fit. So let's go back and we'll have a look at launching a quiz. So go to quiz and it says what quiz would you like to run so if I just for instance pick um, the year 7 assessment you know, next and I can it says what would I like them to do well I want them to put their name in uh, give them instant feedback I'm going to shuffle the questions and that's quite good because it means that if you've got two students sitting together they'll be given questions in different orders um, we can show them their final score if we want and that's it so let's go for it so we're going to start so that started the quiz and as you can see there's nobody in the room at the moment so what I'll do is I'll show you this from uh, a student perspective so as a student they can simply go to Socrative.com and click student login and it will ask for the room name switching back to teacher view if you look at the top of the screen that's your room num your room number 657578 is my one so I'm going to go over to the student view and I can join this room so six five seven five seven eight and I can join it says enter your name and click done so then it will present them with the quiz and they can start taking the test so as you can see this is a multiple choice test of 40 questions um, so you can just go through and answer the questions simply by clicking on um, what it is you need and it'll say whether you've got the question correct okay and click OK and it'll take you to the next question so once that's finished so once the students have finished they'll see this icon and it says you've completed the current activity waiting for the next activity to begin or the teacher to end the test. Now what the teacher will see while they're undertaking the test is as follows. So here we go. So as you can see, as you progress through the test, you get um, a positive or negative score come up and you can see how well that student's done. I very quickly just randomly clicked um, random throughout the test. I haven't sat the test properly as you can see otherwise my score would be very low. Um, so that's that. So then what you do is once all students have got all the ticks uh, here to say they've got 100% completion you simply finish the test and you click finish and it says get reports. So you click on the get reports and you want to do whole class Excel individual student PDFs. I very rarely use question specific PDFs. Um, I just want um, uh, a spreadsheet with the, the percentage marks in and I want um, the PDFs that show which questions they got right or wrong and you can click download and that will prepare and download a set of um, results for you. What I'm going to do for this exercise is I'm going to show you the results of a previous uh, real assessment that I've used. So as I've got multiple students in there um, for the next step of this tutorial. To do that and to get to historic reports, all I need to do is go to reports at the top and you'll see here are all the assessments that have been carried out. And if I go to the scratch assessment, I can again get reports and just click on the ones I want and I'll download those. And we'll move on to the next stage where we look at how to use the data that's been generated. So once you've downloaded the data from Socrative, you'll get your spreadsheet of results and a folder with multiple PDFs. So I've extracted one of the PDFs just to show you what this looks like for the student. So I always give this to the students. Um, it's their PDF answer document. So if we just open this up, we can see here a list of all the questions that they got right and all the ones they got wrong. 
and you can put in explanations as to why the question is correct or incorrect, which is a really nice feature. So it gives them some instant feedback and ways to improve. And you do that when you create your Socrative quiz. And I'll show you that in a different video. We've also got our spreadsheet and I have anonymized the names. I've changed the names because obviously these are live students. So here we can see that you get your student results. And all we, all I'm really interested in at the moment is the name and the percentage of their score. So what I've done is I've created a spreadsheet and I'll show you that now. Uh, this is the spreadsheet and I'll put a link in the description below to this. So you can copy and paste their names in and paste their scores in. And our school uses a flight path system. Uh, to replace levels so it would automatically generate a level and some feedback so if I show you here you can put in your own grade boundaries so you can use this method for GCSE tests or mock tests for auto generated feedback which is just a quick way of providing some some feedback to students so this is my uh, grade boundaries and then here we have some generated feedback on exam practice um, so for instance if they score the lowest mark of D1 uh, D1 is good, but it shows you have not thought about your answers and goes on to explain some other things. So it's just a nice way of doing uh, maybe a mid mid midpoint assessment or just a little learning check. So what we'll do is I'll show you how this actually works. So if I just snap that to one side and bring this up, I can select the names. And I'll paste those in. And I'll select the scores. And paste those in for us as score. And you can see it's auto-generated the level and the feedback. Now, what we need to do with this um, for the student's benefit is get it into a, a little Word document that will be uh, easier for them to read. They can provide some feedback on it. So I'll show you the Word document that I use for this. Okay, so this is the Word document that I'm going to use to provide students with feedback. So we've got name, score, uh, flight path, and the comment I'm going to give them and where they can put their feedback. So the flight path is like our sort of replacement for levels. Um, yours might be different if you're in a different school watching this and trying to have a go at this this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a mail merge. So I'm just going to save and close my results. And I'm going to start a mail merge. So to do that, I'm going to go mailings, uh, select receipts, uh, recipients. Should we want uh, existing list? I select the uh, spreadsheet I want, and just I'm going to pick the um, name field here is what I want. I go OK. And then if I insert merge fields, I can go name, score, uh, level, feedback, and comments left blank. So if I preview that, you can see there's the results. So I want the feedback to be in green. I'm sure if you're a teacher, you'll understand why I'm using green. It's just uh, mailings and then preview. That's fine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm not going to finish a merge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little program. So if I save that, I'm going to use a program called Graham Mayer's uh, Split to Merge, and I'll show you why. So the Graham Mayer program is a little plugin that we need to install. So I'll put a link to the plugin in the description below, download it. Then what you want to do is um, close off your Word document, go to your local drive, go to users, whatever your username is, and then you want to go to uh, app data, roaming, Microsoft, Word, which, uh, I just want to check Office, no, Word, and then um, you should have a folder called Startup. If you don't have um, a folder, just create a new folder, call it Startup, and then simply put the plugin into that folder. Okay, so we've reopened our Word document. It'll ask if we want to run the mail merge, and we'll click Yes. 
and we go to mailings you'll see a new set of tools here which is split the merge and this is where it's this is quite a cool little plugin so what we do is we click split the merge select the records we want so I'm gonna select just the student names because in my Excel spreadsheet I've got some blank data so that's it click OK click name because that's what we want to call them call the file names by click browse and select somewhere to save it so I'll just save it to the desktop and click OK and then uh, just continue and what it's doing now is it's splitting the merge so what we've now got is if we close this um, we now have um, all the word documents exported and each one of these is the student feedback so if I just pick one go to Ben for instance uh, we can see here name Ben that's his score or percentage score that's the flight path he's on there's his comment and what he can come and do now is if we put these onto a shared drive or onto a VLE uh, he can simply come in and type his feedback on how he thinks his um, assessment went so I hope that's been useful um, thanks for watching